A popular injectable drug used to treat diabetes is in short supply tonight. Doctors say this is posing a health risk to those who truly need it. KCBD News Channel 11 Sydney Lowther spoke to a family medicine physician about what this means for patients who rely on the medication. Sydney. That's right, Karen and Abner. Injectable diabetes medications like Ozempic and Wagovi have been in shortage since 2022, limiting patient access to the drug across the nation. I spoke with Dr. Rodney Young at the Texas Tech School of Medicine about the impact this is having on patients and the concerns of safety of the substitutes in its place. If you're a drug company and you have a patent on a drug that is suddenly a blockbuster and you have incredible demand, that's a dream come true, right? But it's also, in essence, a bit of a nightmare. Dr. Rodney Young with Texas Tech University Health Sciences Center School of Medicine in Amarillo says that common medications labeled for diabetes like Ozempic and Manjaro are becoming harder to access. They have become, you know, very popular in social media and in other circles or their weight loss benefits. Because of both the demand from diabetic patients using the drug for glucose control and the increase in demand for those struggling with weight loss, manufacturers can't keep up. For everybody who needs the drug and can't have access to it, that's a significant challenge. Dr. Young says health risks are the biggest concern that comes with shortages of the drug, like changes in blood sugar, appetite, and weight gain. So you got patients scrambling, calling all over town to pharmacies, doctors' offices, dealing with having to find, <coughs> excuse me, having to find a substitute medication to fill in for them. When popular drugs become difficult to access, fake products can fall into patients' hands. And when a drug falls onto the FDA shortage list, compound pharmacies can create compounded copies of Ozempic and Wagovi by using the active ingredient semiglutide. But this can cause dosing issues, and if not done properly, legal risk. Drug companies will caution about concerns about quality control and the safety of taking that approach. And then it ends up that they're no longer available because of legal matters playing out. That's going to be a significant challenge. Dr. Young says while the limited manufacturers are doing their best to keep supply up with demand, not much can be done to fix the shortage. It's going to take these companies a while to get enough manufacturing capacity available so that we no longer face these shortages. According to the Food and Drug Administration, it also can't provide an estimate on the current duration of shortages of the drug. Karen and Abner. Thank you, Sydney.